In this video we'll show how the new dialog component in version 11 uh, can be uh, used with the uh, grid component to create some powerful new functionality. So what we have over here is a uh, grid component that is based on a SQL table and we have two buttons over here which allow us to edit the current row using a dialog component or enter a new record using a dialog component. So uh, let's first uh, demo the functionality and uh, and then show how that was actually done. So if we quickly go over to the dialog builder here you can see we have a dialog component uh, over here that uh, looks like this when it's run in working preview. And if I go back to design mode and over to data binding I'll see that the uh, dialog has been bound to a uh, MySQL version of Alpha Sports and uh, um, the dialog has been bound to the customer table and then if I click on uh, the controls I can see all of the controls in the dialog and the corresponding field in the uh, table to which those controls have been bound. Then you can also see quickly over here if I go over to my server side uh, events in the after dialog validate event what we've done is we've used uh, server side action scripting to create um, a, uh, a server side action that uh, saves the record that was just submitted uh, into the table to which this dialog has been bound and then after the uh, submit has occurred we just uh, edit we allow you to edit the record that was uh, just submitted so there's our um, our after dialog validate event but you can see that the on dialog initialize event has been left um, empty so now let's go over to our grid and uh, when I click this button over here you can see now that we open up the dialog component and we've automatically populated the dialog with the data for the current row in the grid and we can now go ahead and make an edit so let's go and change that to um, Peabody and uh, Sun and then when I hit the submit button you'll notice that this row gets updated and that the dialog window automatically closes down. So you can see there we uh, edited the row and also closed the dialog down. Now let's go here and enter a new record so you can see that um, uh, I can go here and type in say uh, Harry um, Jones and then if I hit the submit button I'm going to get an error saying that company is a required field so I'll just go there and say alpha software uh, 123 main street and then go here and type in uh, Burlington MA and then 01803 and then um, watch now as we enter the new record or hit the submit button and that en enters the new record and there's Harry Jones over there with a primary key of 68. So now let's go back uh, to the grid and take a look at how we actually did that. So we go over to fields and then go to button and then we'll look at, at our um, on click event so we'll bring up the uh, editor and um, first I'll just point out which action we're using here so I'll just click, click, uh, click the add new button and you can see that in addition to the generic open a dialog component there's another action which is very specific which is open a dialog component to edit the current row in the grid or to enter a new record so that is the action that we've chosen over here so let's go ahead and edit this action so you can see that the mode that we've chosen right now for this button is edit an existing record and the other option is enter a new record and the name of the dialog that we want to use is called uh, dialog to edit grid record and then uh, we check this button or this prompt which says close dialog after submit so that's how we define the um, uh, action to edit the existing row and then similarly when we went, if we go to our um, action buttons over here um, and look at how we define this action over here we can see that it's defined in a uh, similar way accepting that we use the enter new record. So I hope you found that useful. Thank you very much.